eight, nine. Hey, mates, and welcome back. Or, excuse me. No, no, no. And it, of course, it's all blurry. I can't do anything about that. Um, welcome to Let's Play Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, yeah, I decided to, um, I was going to finish up Sonic Adventure tonight, but I decided to start Sonic and Knuckles instead and finish Sonic Adventure tomorrow. So basically, continuing off from Sonic 3, yes, the Death Egg story shall continue in. Okay, anyway, I'm in the, I'm in the museum. Uh, this is Sonic and... Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, I believe that is called Sonic's... Something like Sonic's Ultimate Mega Drive Collection elsewhere. At least in Europe, I don't... And assuming... I don't know if it's released in Japan, but... Anyway, this game was released for Sega Genesis and the Mega Drive, and or Mega Drive, in 1994... And, well, in the U.S. anyway. Um, so, I was gonna do this on the PS2 on Mega Collection Plus, but I ended up... I got my... My PS2 works, but the problem was it wouldn't show up on my computer, and I couldn't find the all the cords, so I just ended up... like, I'll just do it on the PS3. So, we'll be the, doing the PlayStation 3 version of this game. So, Sonic was able to print the relaunch of the Death Egg and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So, Dr. Robotnik is making one bid at revenge. His fiendish plan leads to leads him to Angel Island's Master Emerald, which contains untold powers. This time, however, Knuckles the Echidna has learned Robotnik's true nature. So he's not going to let her, the Emerald go in, without a fight. So yeah, we could play as Knuckles for the first time. Uh, you could also do so play this like on Sonic 3K, and this will probably talk about, but I don't really have that game unlocked, and I don't have a Sega Genesis, so that's why I'm not doing Sonic 3 and K. I think I said that in Sonic 3, some... Um, alright, you can now play as... Okay, yeah, exactly. You can now play as either Sonic or Knuckles, each with a selection of separate stages to explore. Even when the two fight through the same stage... You're bound to discover new areas thanks to Knuckles' unique skills. Master the Echidna's gliding and wall climbing abilities to find new secrets that Sonic could never reach. Together, these two heroes may be able to defeat Dr. Robotnik once and for all. Did you know Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and Knuckles were originally planned to be one large game? I think I heard that somewhere. Yes! I actually... Yeah, I've heard that somewhere, I believe. However, time and development costs forced to be split into two titles. I thought it was just because the files were too big or something. The original Sonic & Knuckles cartridge featured lock-on technology, which allowed other Sonic cartridges to be plugged into it to unlock new features. Connecting Sonic 2 or Sonic 3 into this game. For instance... Oh, oh, I don't remember if you could do Sonic 1, can you? Um, for instance, allowed you to play through both of these titles as Knuckles. Connecting the original Sonic game, oh yeah, to this cartridge opened up a collection of new bonus rounds, dubbed Blue Spear. Yeah, I've heard it. Okay, yeah, I mean, I think that was on Blue Collection. Uh, excuse me, Mega Collection and Mega Collection Plus. I actually have Mega Collection on the GameCube and then Plus for the PS2. Um, which PS2 version is better. Anyway, um... Yeah, so... Is that it? Oh, alright, I didn't know this. This is actually the American version. Wait, come on. Uh, yeah, cool. Oh, I can't turn it, like, upside down or whatever. History, sign. I already did that. Can I start the game yet? Oh, yes, this is actually, um... Um, probably one of my favorite video games of all time. Yes, Sega... <coughs> Excuse me. So, there's the Death Egg. We're gonna play both stories, both characters. I'm gonna start with Sonic, and then do Knuckles. So, yeah, it's a pretty good game. Sonic controls pretty much the same as he did on last time. You can do the Spin Dash, unlike Sonic 1, unless you're playing it on the iPhone, or the Japanese version, then you can do the I Then you can do the Spin Dash. Um, oh, oh, wait, you have to have it updated on the iPhone. And uh, yeah, so correct me if I'm wrong, but the one I have, I could do Spinesh, and then you could also play as other characters on it. 
But not the original one. Which, um, I think it was the same developing team that did Sonic CD. Christian Whitehead. They did... Well, or he, he, I don't know if it's like one person did it or if that's like the name of the company. I'm not sure. I mean, it's... I, I mean... It's just... I mean, I guess like an old game is probably easier to develop. But yeah, he did Sonic CD, or they did, what, whoever did Sonic CD. Uh, we, uh, I'm gonna just gradually get the Chaos Emeralds. If I don't get them all, then, then I just don't get them all. There's, like, an extra thing, so, I'm gonna be showing most of the stuff in the game. There's just a few levels, maybe some special stages I may not show, or, and or, like, the fi the real final boss. Which I don't even remember who it is. Oh yeah, I think I do. Um, I'll show this off once. I think Sonic... Th oh, no, this is a little different than Sonic 3. I wonder what this would be like in Sonic 3 and K. Or does it just depend on... Alright, good enough. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Kind of reminds me of Sonic 1 and... Uh... Sonic 4 Episode 1. Alright, yeah. I don't... Yeah, that's just a bonus stage. Those don't have Chaos Emeralds. So I figured I'd play for 20-30 minutes. Oh, well, it's almost 6.30 already. I mean, I have time to play it, but... Am I gonna put this on YouTube? I'm gonna try to put this on YouTube. If I can't get all the videos up, then I apologize. Actually, the... Um, actually, me doing this instead of SA1, the, the real reason was because uh, I didn't... I wanted to get... Uh, Sonic Adventure done, and I was worried that I would only have time to do part of the story, and the last part of the game isn't too long, and I kind of wanted to do it all in one recording session, so I just decided I'd do this. And, um, I think this game probably takes about two hours to beat, or four hours with both characters, something like that. If you're... Oh, that... Yep. First death. Didn't even get past the first level. That's great. It's not even that hard of a game. Um, so yes, four, I guess, maybe around four hours, and I, I don't know, I thought I read somewhere that the game takes about two hours to beat. I'm gonna wait. Oh, I do have some rings. Still gonna wait. Or play it carefully. No, I did not wait long enough, like I said it would. Oh yes, and I will be doing Sonic the Hedgehog 4 after this. Well, not today, but I mean, after I finish the game. Um, whatever that will be in a couple weeks. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna like just focus mainly on this LP. I'm gonna. Oh, here's I guess like a cutscene, a quick time event. I don't know what you would. I don't know what you call them on old games like this. I just call it a cutscene or a quick time event. No, a cutscene sounds better. I, I don't know. Quick time event is kind of is basically a cutscene, just a little different, I guess. A quick cutscene, I guess. But that's kind of like in a stage. Or no, no, no. Well, actually, I take that back. A quick, maybe a quick time, quick time event is like something in Resident Evil where you have to press buttons every now and then, or uh, even the uh, New Beyond Two Souls game. Or sometimes you have to like move the analogs, the right analog stick, to like dodge an attack, and which I'm actually not always good at. I'm not actually sure. Like it seems that, and I'm not talking about scripted events, but it seems that I guess this is it. Not this, but Beyond Two Souls is like a game where you can't like die or something. Because there's been times I thought I was going to die, and it, I beat the game without dying a single time. So it has to be like... I, I can't just be that good. I made quite a bit of mistakes. Also, yeah. Actually, my uh, favorite... Lo I keep saying actually. Actually, this. <laughs> uh, sorry. My favorite level, actually, pro probably levels in the game... Would have to be like the uh, Metal Gear Solid. They're not really Metal Gear Solid levels, but it reminds me of Metal Gear Solid, and that's why I like it. 
So yeah. So yeah, that game has quick time events. I, I guess that's really a quick time event. Trying to get up here. You know what? For, forget, forget what I just said. <sighs> what? Come on! I, I should just do like. Okay, there it goes. Do this like in a blog if I want to talk about other games when I'm not even playing those games. Yeah, the level changes. Kind of reminds me of uh, I think Sonic Four of so one does this too. Like, uh, not during like a. Uh, like, in, during the zone, I know Splash Hill Zone, I think, like, when you get to the... It's either Act 3 or Act 4. Well, there's... Act 4 is the boss. Basically. Okay. I don't know, we might get... I think I got them all in Sonic 3. I didn't really show all the special stages, I don't think, but I mean, I had a file that I had all of them. I, ha I showed off Super Sonic, and I didn't even know I had Super Sonic on that game. But I actually did. Actually, uh, in Sonic 4 Episode 1, I will be getting all the Chaos Emeralds since I was able to do it on that game. Episode 2, I will not be doing Or Sonic C, which will be a... I don't know, I may, just not, I may as well not even do that game then. I mean, Sonic CD is easy, but if you're gonna get... Oh, it's actually Time Stones, I believe, in that game. But if you're gonna get, like... All the time stones, you gotta be really good at the game. Since I think that's the most out of it or something. I think the only Sonic games where there's like time traveling. Or I'll say in the Sonic franchise, because Shadow the Hedgehog, in a way, isn't really a Sonic game, but it kind of is at the same time. Um, so yeah, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, I was actually gonna say Sonic CD first. Uh, whoop. No! Oh, ah, I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm gonna pick this controller up, my PS2 controller. Alright, there. Um, Sonic CD. Sh Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. And I guess Sonic Generations, you could say. And no, I'm not going to say Sonic Adventure 2, even though there was a cutscene with Maria. I don't count those time travel. Actually, no, Shadow the Hedgehog does not count. Because it's just a... The level you play as is just a flashback. Or you're brought into the flashback, I guess. I don't know. Like, it's not like to deliberately time travel. So, Sonic Generations, I guess, could count. But for sure, Sonic 06 and Sonic CD. Probably one of the few people that like Shadow the Hedgehog. Although, however, for some reason, that wasn't the case with Sonic 06. I mean, well, I mean, I liked Sonic 06. It just could have been better, I think. And I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me. And I'm sure people would disagree with me. Oh no, it actually—it's not an okay game. It's a bad game. Well, I think it's all right. But you know, you could. Oh! Oh, apparently I got an extra life somewhere. Oh yeah, I did that bonus stage. Dang it. Oh, what? I went through the ring. That's stupid. Go, go, go! Oh! And he's moving by himself. Well, that's the end of the game. Not really. And I actually jumped off that thing. I just felt like it. They're actually bringing those things back in Sonic Lost World. I don't believe they were in Sonic Unleashed. Um, I don't think they were in Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, yeah, so they weren't, they're not like...